Hi everyone, this is COVID tip number 13. It is to mind your mind. And I know there's about a thousand ways I can go with this, but I'm going to keep it real simple. This is just about paying attention to how you self-talk. You know, we all have that way of talking to ourselves. Like, if you make a mistake, if you mess up, do you tell yourself, oh well, you know what, fucked up, it happens. I deal with it as good as I can and, well, let's just move on from there. I'm sure I'll do better the next time. Or do you tell yourself that you're stupid and how could you possibly have done that? And, oh my God, I cannot believe that I am this ignorant. How the hell can I let this happen? I can't believe it. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I'm not worthy. All those things, right? They're significantly different. Now, on the other hand, there's the way you talk to yourself after a success. If you finally achieve something you've worked a very long time for, or if you've just done something very well, do you tell yourself, oh my God, I did so well. I have worked so hard for this. I deserve this. This is amazing. I'm so proud of myself. I'm just going to celebrate and have a good time and really, really enjoy this feeling because I'm worth it and I did this. There's that person. Or there's a person who says, well, yeah, yeah, I guess um, I guess I managed. It's, it's, it's good. I did it. But, uh, well, it was mostly though, because of outside circumstances. I mean, it wasn't all that hard and I did have support. So I guess it's not that weird that I did it. But, hey, I guess it's okay. Again, significantly different. Now, these are some pretty extreme examples, but they do tend to show a certain personality type. And a personality type that tends to celebrate the achievements also tends to be a little kinder to themselves when they mess up. They don't have as much stress. They have a lot of resilience. They can take responsibility for their mistakes and for their actions without getting stuck in the emotional, abusive self-talk loop. The other type person, the person who kind of trivializes their successes or even puts it outside of themselves, like, oh, well, I didn't really deserve it. I just got lucky. And that same person who tends to really, really bring themselves down when they make a mistake. You know, they're really hard on themselves. Those are people who tend to be a little more stressed out. They're more anxious, easily depressed, easily rattled. Um, they tend to feel like the world is out to get them a lot of the time. And they actually have lower immune systems and bigger risks of heart failure and stuff like that. So it is pretty important to figure out which way you talk to yourself. And I mean, I'm I say it's a personality type and it is, but you're almost never completely on a personality type. So if you are aware of yourself, being harsh to yourself and not being able to celebrate easily, then you can change that, at least part of it. You can be a little more gentle to yourself. You can be a little more celebratory, a little prouder of yourself. That is something you can actually work on. So don't think just, oh, because I'm that personality type, I'm done. No, you, you can work on it. And that's why I want you to be aware of it. I want you to have an understanding of how your self-talk works. Because if you keep bringing yourself down the entire time, that's not very good for you. Now, here's the thing that you need to pay attention to, though. First of all, be aware of how you talk to yourself. Because you may not be aware of it, and the second you become aware of it, you may be surprised and you may actually be a little scared of it. Because if you thought that you were positive all the time and you figure out that you keep talking respect to yourself, that's going to be confronting. So be ready to deal with that. And be kind to yourself when you do so. 
you're not a bad person. It is just something that you've been telling yourself the entire time. So that's one. Two, if you're going to go through the process of changing it, be kind to yourself. And I know that is a challenge to the people whose personality type that is. I know it's a challenge to be kind to yourself, but please do that. Because there is nothing more disheartening than messing up, telling yourself you've messed up, telling yourself you're stupid, and then telling yourself, oh my God, I'm telling myself I'm stupid. I'm so stupid for telling my, for, for not noticing that. Now you've told yourself that you're stupid twice. So try to be kind for yourself when you do that. I mean, there's this way of just saying, oh, well, I fucked up. I did it again. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Oh, wait, wait a second. I was planning on not telling that myself again. So, all right, I guess I guess I just did that again. But hey, at least I'm noticing it. That's a, that's a good sign. I'm on the right way. You know, that is such a nicer way to slightly correct yourself in that mindset. So make sure you do it that way. And if it doesn't work straight away, again, do not bring yourself down about that because it is going to take time. You are trying to change a lifetime of talking yourself down. So it is not going to work overnight. And don't, don't try to jump from one extreme to the next. You cannot start telling yourself that you're awesome straight away because you're simply not going to believe it. That is the end goal. That's the end game. That's what you want to go to. But start, start with slow steps. Start with telling yourself stuff like, instead of telling yourself that you're stupid or not worthy for yourself, okay, I messed up. Okay, it happens. And then, after a while, you go to, I messed up, but at least I'm noticing it. So that's a good thing. And then you go to, I messed up, but that's okay. I'm still here. And then you go, you know, step by step, you go to a little more positive about yourself. But the beginning is to notice the way you talk to yourself. And here's why that is important with this COVID period. Because if you are already stressed out with everything that's going on, and if you are already worried, and if there's blood on your plate, if you're going to put self-talk in the mix, and you're going to be putting yourself down the entire, the entire time, that is not, that is just going to add to your stress. It's going to bring your energy levels down. It's going to bring your joy down. And it's going to get you depressed or anxious or your stuff like that that you do not need. So this is where you can start. And it's just something that everyone can do. Every time you figure out that you're bringing yourself down, See if you can change it just a little bit. See if you can catch yourself doing that. And then start tweaking it bit by bit. And don't forget, be kind to yourself when you do that. And hey, if you are the type of person who's already happy all the time, that's great. But here's the thing. Sometimes even you can catch yourself being unkind to yourself. So if you are already a happy person and you're really nice to yourself and you catch yourself being unkind, don't forget to switch it back to the way you're used to because, you know, with this world changing, you never know what's going on in your mind until you do. So even if you are used to being good to yourself, make sure you monitor that process as well. Because it may have ever so slightly slipped and now it's your chance to switch it back. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make sure you are nice to yourself. Or as nice as possible and be patient. Things are not going to change overnight. But it does start with the awareness and the effort. So don't give up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.